Now this is part two of our video instructions. Part one tells you how to put the speed controller in. Uh, this is just showing you what it looks like installed in a vehicle. We did part one on a workbench so there's more room to be able to see everything. This particular speed controller in our test vehicle is a model uh, before the one that you'll be getting. Uh, one of the differences with it is on your speed controller up on this corner will be a 12 volt 5 volt watt output for your LED lights uh, and if the car has a stock radio in it. Uh, if you've done an aftermarket radio just make sure that 5 watts is enough output for it but it'll easily handle all the lighting you'd put on a car. Uh, also the production models are not glued on fans and things like that. This was all again our early test model. Uh, same thing with the pedals. Uh, the pedals we went with for the production models are actually a little bit larger because what we found was when you have variable speed you need a pedal that's got a little more throw to it uh, so it has to be a little larger. It's a little easier for the kids to work with. Uh, but the mounting is the same. They just bolt right in place wherever you want. Same thing here. We bolted this up under the dashboard. You have your wire leads here are for your pedals. You have your wire leads here going to the motors, wire lead going to the battery, and they are different. These two connectors, they look similar, but you cannot get it wrong. They won't plug in the wrong way. The wire lead here, you see we have plenty of extra wire in this car. This is a uh, Power Wheels Jeep Wrangler that we're using for this test bed. We have some Stage 5 motor gearboxes in it because we are testing for failure. On this end, up by the hood, this is your two battery leads coming out. We switched this over to a fuse instead of the 35 amp breaker that your kit's coming with. Uh, we kept increasing the fuse value for testing purposes to try to reach failure. Have not been able to blow one of these units up yet with 24 volts, 250 pound drivers, really tall grass. Uh, they've been holding up quite well to the abuse we've been putting them through. As long as you stick with 18 or 24 volt SLA style batteries, as you can see with this 24 volt conversion. You'll have two butt connectors that are going to come with yours that uh, you can plug in your style battery connector with. Make it nice and easy. You don't have to do any soldering like we did here. It'll be an easy install to do. By the time you've watched these two videos, you could have already gotten your install done, but we're glad you took your time to learn how to do it. Any questions, again, please reach out to our tech support people. Happy to help you out.